tilapia. We got this huge tilapia. Yeah, come on. It's like heaven. Ah. Look at what my cousin got. Wow. One more time. All right, what's good, Profound Family? Now, y'all know we couldn't end our trip to Guatemala without going over a food series. We actually had a chance to go around various parts of the country and give you different regional food. First, we started with food in Guatemala City and went to different hipster spots and had a little bit of traditional food also. And then, as we made our way over to the beautiful, enchanting Antigua, we also had a couple chances to eat at different restaurants there. And then from there, we went six hours all the way east to the Caribbean coast and we had food in Puerto Barrios. We had delicious seafood in the Caribbean area and we even made our way over to Livingston and enjoy some traditional tabato. Anyway, so enjoy the video y'all. Like and subscribe. Leave some feedback. El Portón Restaurante in Antigua. Trying to get us some authentic Guatemalan food. We'll like walk in. He got the ooh wee. Gracias, mano. Making a fresh tortilla. Hola. Gracias. Gra Gracias. Got some frijoles with the cheese right there. Got the chicken. Cuzzo got the steak. Oh, what is that? Don't have too bad. All right, I haven't had a full serving of chicken in a long time, but you know, I'm super hungry and stuff is kind of limited to some degree beyond rice and beans, so let's see what he do. Mm. Mm. That's locally grown, for sure. It just digests so easy, the smokiness, whatever they baste it in. It's nice and fresh with the red salsa. Mm. The lime, everything is just on point. This is one outstanding meal. It's like fresh, full of flavor. Like, it doesn't have to be over seasoned, but you taste like the char and everything in the chicken and the beans are fresh. The cheese has a nice, like, salty, uh, kind of sour, but not like sour, like bad, but like, you know, flavor is just amazing. You know what I mean? about to have dinner to enjoy ourselves here at Tierra Madre and so we get some local food there's a lot of places open late night here which kind of caught me by surprise but we wanted something more local we could have went for like the easy stuff like pizza or whatever which was tempting after like a two-hour hike but we're gonna see what it do y'all and get y'all more ah, look at that ah, we got it. Roasted chicken, potatoes, guacamole, salsa, onions, cheese, scallions, avocado, beans, and I have a mole pompano's dish coming. Look at that there. You see it? See how hey, see what I made? You see that, bro? That green salsa is so spicy and tangy. Mm. And the char from the barbecue. It's just that the the sauce itself is just so tangy and so spicy and savory. It's just out of this world. This is a 10. It goes so good together with the chicken. Look y'all, I made like a little chicken taco out of this. I put onions, beans, cheese, salsa, avocado, everything, squeezed lime, you know it. Let's see what it goes. Taco. What you got? We got beans on here. We got rice. We got avocado. Mm -hmm. What we you got? got? Chorizo. Uh huh. We got the spice. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? We got the other spice. You got some lime. We got the other spice. Oh, look at them. Uh -oh. We got the other. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. 
Mmm, talk to us. Break it down. I gotta come to uh, Guatemala and do this exactly thing. <laughs> the exact same thing. Look at that, y'all. Mole plantanos. So it's mole with bananas over on top of a banana leaf. I've never, ever, ever heard of or had a dish like this before. This is dessert. Oh my goodness, look at that, y'all. I'm gonna break it, I guess. Come on, y'all. Mole. Bananas. Let's see what they do. Sesame seeds. Mmm. Mmm. This mole is not bitter, it's like. Right. It's sweet, but not super sweet, so it don't overpower the bananas. And these seeds, they're toasted, and the mole is light. It's not like heavy, Like they didn't do too much to it, but it's like a little sweetness. And the bananas are like charred perfectly. This is a hell of a dessert. I honestly don't even like eating foreign desserts when I go places. The combinations and stuff don't be right for me. This is up there with like, mango sticky rice and Thai food or some shit. Like this is like, whoa, this is, if you ever see mole, plantanos, bananas at all in Latin America, please try it. Please, please, please. This is hit, look at that. I'm gonna get one more bite for you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hotel Grand Plaza Euro Mayan. The restaurant here with the rooftop view. Oh my goodness. I'm about to see what it do. Oh my goodness. Before we leave, getting something to grab. Oh, let's do it. We got Chile Quiles. Oh, uh, gracias, hermano. Gracias. Mucho gracias, hermano. Look at that. Ah. Baby, you see that? Mm -hmm. My goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Mm. Mm -hmm. First food place, Reso Vegetariano. Profound travel. Turn into profound eats on y'all. Yeah, they got Vegetariano. Look at all this I got. Start my day off with all vegetarian stuff. Look at that pretty mother. You're right there. Mm -mm -mm. This is my cousin Geek over here serving in Bahrain right now in the military. I know he would appreciate a good vegetarian meal like this, you know? To my brother Hank out there, let y'all see all that grub, you know? You get to the main thing, got the picante. Ah, put that on the lasagna first. Put it on the patty, put it on everything. Put it on the soy beef, everything. Let's go right to it, let's see. Mm. Mm. Fresh. A lot of lasagna tasting. Just melt in your mouth, let me see. See what that lasagna do. Let's go over the seat. That lasagna is so creamy, but in a good way, not like heavy creamy. You can taste like several layers of creamy flavor and the vegetables in it. Oh, let me get let me get a little bit more of the hot sauce on that. Mmm. Mmm. Hold on. Hold up. Let me get my vegetables. Mmm. I gotta make my rounds. Hold up, Lopez, I gotta make my rounds to everything. Oh, it's, oh, it's busting. Mm-hmm. Stop for a little bit. I'm kind of diving this. Got the lasagna right here. Got the vegetables. We got the no vegetables. We got this. Let me see how it's busting. And we got the watermelon juice mixed with some juice. other fruit. Take a sip of that. Let me know what it do. 
bust it. Sweet. The noodles, bust them. Try the lasagna. Describe that flavor profile. That lasagna is the best thing I've had so far. I'm gonna lie to you. What it do for you? Creamy, right? But it ain't like. Lasagna is creamy. Ain't overpowering though, right? Is it? Dude? I mean, full of flavor though. You can taste everything. Yeah. I'm gonna get this one. I'm gonna get this a 10 out of 10. Man. So we in the Main Street Market at nighttime trying to get something to eat before everything closed. There's like 10 restaurants in here. I got Mexican food, a vegan um, veggie tacos. All right, I got the mushroom tacos, y'all, with chipotle sauce, burning, avocado sauce. I tried this really spicy hot sauce. That shit burned the back of my throat so bad, y'all. But like, they sauced up the tortilla and everything. We're gonna see what it do. Let's see, y'all. Salsas, so fresh. Tortillas, the vegetables. The salsa they cook it in. Mmm, it's kind of tangy too. This is fire. I mean, I eat vegetarian tacos back at home, but this is like a whole nother quality. And they put like the mixed greens on top with the cherry tomatoes. And that chipotle sauce, Lord have mercy. Oh y'all, they go savage on it. Got the uh, chicken tacos. Got avocado sauce on there, got onions, chipotle sauce, guacamole on there, got cheese. I'm gonna give it a bite, see how it tastes. That's what I was missing, cheese. I didn't even need it, it's so good. How I do? Full of flavor, can't go wrong. Meaty too, ain't it? And you got the cheese melted in there. Woo, that looks good. Next, we gotta hit Slice Baby Slice. All right, y'all, we have Slice Baby Slice. Only a little bit of chicken. I'm gonna try some chicken. It's very, very tiny, but it's sauced up with like, it looks like ranch and buffalo sauce. And I got the cheese with the chipotle sauce. I saw it done like this and I heard it was good. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make it do what it do. And the pesto, you know, the pesto got a hit. Y'all hear them playing Jay-Z in here in uh, New York, New York, or whatever, the, no, Empire State with Alicia Keys. They set the whole pizza vibe here with the pink lights and, y'all you know, see that the pink lights and decor, the lightning bolts and stuff. My cousin's so quiet, he must enjoy it. So you like your pizza? It's good? Okay. I can't wait, y'all. Y'all see that? Buffalo sauce, ranch, pesto, chipotle. Let's see what it do. thousand flavors mixed in that's all symbiotic and stuff this is out of control the flavors just mix so well together this is perfect perfect i ain't gonna lie the best pizzas i've had honestly has been out of the country because of the quality of the ingredients i remember i had a salmon like thin thinly uh, cut crisp uh, caramelized salmon onion pizza in, in cuba called me weird but to this day it was one of the top five pizzas i've ever had in my life better than what i had in new york Better than I had all in the United States. Um, better than what I had in Chicago too. Uh, but this pizza here is like, I'm not exaggerating, this pizza here is like in that category. These sauces are so robust and they're so like strong and they're not overpowering and they all mix so well. Wow. Come to Slice Baby Slice when you're in Zona 4 in Central Guatemala City. This is hard. This is, this is an A1 meal. I'm not, it sounds like I'm exaggerating, but I'm not. I'm not even influenced, I haven't been drinking, anything like that. I ate a lunch, so I'm not starving, but this is like a full, honest, unbiased opinion. Like, this is fire, I promise you guys, this is fire.
So here at Punta de Palma, you know, the beach, the water is very warm because we're in the Caribbean, but it's not really the cleanest beach, but the water is shallow and you walk far or farther out into the sea, it gets more cleaner, obviously. They have like boat activities and stuff, things are cheap. A lot of like restaurant, store setups. And we're here at a place, I don't even see the name of it, but, oh, excuse me, La Palmeras. You guys can see over there, and we got our friend on the on the grill. All right, y'all. So I'm not feeling good, so I'm not eating no meat. I just got some salt he gave me, some avocado, some salad, and some beans. Mm, oh, it's fresh though. Cuzzo like his his food so much he doubled up and got another steak beans salad and avocado another one. Oh, that look that look good how is it now look at it oh my goodness broke right off didn't it beans Mm, great, great compliment to it, huh? Creamy avocado. Avocado fresh. Man. Fresh cut. Man. See, I'm doubling up, y'all. Two plates. Two plates of lobster. My goodness. Like a night market too next to the restaurant, like a night market. You know what I'm saying? Like check it out. And the port is right there in the background, as you guys can see. The port. Look at that face of those. Y'all see that? And this one pound lobster. Wow. Man. Imitation crab, lobster. You know this well, we're on our way. We then came far and wide and took a long trip to get over here. Now we're on our way to Livingston. Shouts out to my brother Josh. Joshua Charles is his government name. My little big head brother. You know, we'll see you when you get home soon. We made it over here for you. Now going there, the way you're going with the waves. So it's a pretty smooth ride. Coming back is very choppy. I'm talking motion sickness, back pain, whiplash, all that. But it's a very scenic and honestly quick ride for 30 minutes. And it's beautiful. So stay tuned, y'all. Y'all see the blue sign in the back? Bienvenidos. Welcome to Livingston. There we go. They're on a Monday, so it's very quiet here today. If it was yesterday or Saturday, it's extra crowded and turned up. Now we can go here and we kind of can enjoy, hopefully can meet some locals. We're going to Las Tres, Rafinunas. Get us something to eat. This is our first stop for food here in Livingston. I looked at this place on Google and the reviews are pretty good. And they have like 65 feet tall. That's like what six times 7.58. So it's about nine dollars or something like that. Now I didn't read the whole thing, but it kind of breaks down like the fusion of the food in Honduras, Nicaragua, Guatemala, Gracias Samano. And you know, Afro-Caribbean culture influence along the central, the Central American coast, the Gulf Coast, uh, going down to the Caribbean. So locals. Uh, my friend Lencho I met on the air, airplane on the way here. And other locals said, when you get to Livingston, you have to try this local dish called Tabao, which is basically a coconut milk uh, dish 
that comes with crab, shrimp, and uh, sapato fish. But I can't really eat shellfish because I, I don't normally eat it. I ate it the other day and I got sick. So I got mine with just the sapato fish in it. And I got a side of rice and beans, of uh, coconut rice and beans, plantains, avocado for the hardens, for some nutrients. And I got the coconut soup right here. It may look kind of basic without all the extra uh, uh, shellfish in it, but let's taste it. Let's try it over here at Garafunas. Let's see what it do. Wow, one more time. I wasn't expecting that. It's coconutty, it's like, fishy like this, like a fish broth or something in the coconut and it's not too thick not too thin the seasoning is amazing once I put some of this hot sauce in it and on the rice and beans I know it's gonna take you to another level most amazing parts to this dish is that the fish is fried and dropped in the soup but the fish maintains it's like fried crispy texture with the uh, soupiness it's like it's a perfect combination and Mr. Pablo gonna give us a shot of something called a herbal alcohol I forgot the name of it, but we're gonna try to take a shot of it and try to bring something back with us. Never had nothing like that before. Here's the local drink I was telling you guys about. The uh, Pablo said it's called Giffity. It's a local herbal run, and it comes in a bottle with a bunch of herbs in it fermented. And he gave us one on the house. I'm gonna try it with the lime, let y'all know, know what it do. Well, this is more of medicine than it is alcoholism at this point. Let me try this for y'all. That toast going. Ah, Giffity. That went down like water. It burned my nose a little bit, but not nothing serious. And it was sweet. It was. Now I'm burning. <laughs> it's a delayed reaction. Now I'm starting to burn like way after the fact. It's not like a locally distilled. Look, this is like some house made, like, like uh, moonshine, right? It's like a house made bootlegged moonshine, but it is good. My mouth, everything is still numb and tingling. <laughs> I'm gonna bring some of that back home. Oh man, Giffy, the local rum, herbal rum.